What is going on everybody? Vex30 here coming with a new video and today we are going over the new insane Grok buffs. This will be a first impression-esque video. We are going to go over the build. We're going to go over my first impressions of Grok from my stream yesterday. I streamed, played about four games of Grok and kind of got a good feeling for his, up, for his update and buffs. And then we're going to talk about the gameplay. Well, we're not going to talk about the gameplay. We're going to show some gameplay. And the gameplay will actually be the first video or first game I played of Grok. So you're going to get in this video a ton of content. The build explanation. First impressions of Grok. Explanation why I think that. And then actual gameplay and first impression gameplay because it was the first game I played on him. So without further ado, this is going to be a doozy. Let's jump right into the video. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. Did you know there is now Vex30 merch? You can show off your favorite support main with style on the street with the classic V line. Be sure to check down below in the description for the link. A quick heads up, if you want to skip right to the gameplay and ignore my commentaries on the build and on first impressions, I will put the timestamp down below in the description. So feel free to skip ahead, but if you are interested in the commentary, be sure to listen up and really good info coming at you. All right, so let's talk about this build. Number one. I went to go into game, right, and uh, screenshot the build like I always do, and the servers are down. So I went into the video and screenshot it from the video. That's why a part of me is there. Let's talk about this build real quick so I can take it off screen and explain it more so we can actually watch the gameplay in the background while I explain it. So Monolithic Totem 2, increase health of Totem by 300. Crackle 2, increase Totem duration by 0.4 seconds. Spirit's Grace, increase movement speed by 24%. Astral Traveler, increase your own movement speed while you're in Ghost Walk. And then deploy your range of your totems by five. So what is the purpose of this build? The old build, first of all, had Gale instead of Spirit's Grace, Gale four to be specific, which reduced the totem cooldown by 2.4 seconds. This card was really good back in the day when there was one totem, but now, the way it works is reduces the cooldown of one totem and that's it. If you're running Totemic Ward, like I think you should be with the new meta and the new Grok, it only reduces one of three totems by 2.4 seconds. It's not worth it. You'd rather have utility in Spirit's Grace. This movement speed not only helps you stay alive, it helps your tank stay alive, it helps your DPS stay alive. And yes, it might not seem very good at first because it's only giving them the movement speed inside the totem, but that's taking away from the value of somebody trying to get away. You know, when you're healing somebody, sometimes you're healing somebody that's low and trying to run, even they're caught it. You put this totem on them and they get to get that extra burst of movement speed to come around a corner and get out of caught and heal from your totem around the corner. So there's a lot of use cases for this. And that's what I've noticed yesterday in the stream. There are a ton, a ton of uses for it. So I like Spirit's Grace 4. It's something I think I'm going to stay with. Uh, Crackle, it's something I'm not 100% sure is worth yet. Uh, increase the duration of healing totem by 0.4 seconds. I am still debating if I want to run this or not. I think the duration is good, but I'm going to go into the shooting range at some point and see how much it actually helps and if it helps you keep infinite totems out at like chronos 2 or chronos 3 um if the duration really helps or not uh, i need to play around this card a little bit on my own and the plan is to do that uh, on my off time but i'm not sure but the rest of the build i think is solid astral traveler very important outreach the totem deploy range is insane at five i was even thinking about reducing it to four but i think for certain maps as you can see from the later gameplay it was frozen guard i sat up on the bridge and i was putting totems all the way out to the choke point on the defense so it was insane possibly reduces the four but i think five is good but the rest of the build is awesome we're gonna play around with it more and again i think crackles one card i might change spirits grace maybe i play with the levels of it but i think overall it was very good after playing with it yesterday but uh, let's let's move into talking about my first impressions and what i think about grok so far all right first impressions grok feels after yesterday like he is meta but he is not top tier i do not think he's first pick worthy and i don't know if he's worth over saris and damba but if i had to put him somewhere it would be right there with ying i think ying is one of those supports that saris barely outdoes and damba barely outdoes but i believe he can be picked and not be a throw pick anymore most importantly and is he like meta meta? Ooh, 
not meta, but he is definitely usable. And I think he is easily, you can win with him. It does not fully rely on your teammates anymore to actually use your totems. Of course it does a little bit, but you have more options yourself to make sure they heal from the totem because you have three of them. So you can place it in good spots and you don't have to be very particular with your one or two totems. So first impressions after the first day playing him, I think he's good. Do I think he's top tier? No. Um, could I be wrong? Yes. Um, it was only one day of playing him. I think again, Damba and Saris outshine him. And I really hope that uh i'm proven wrong i would like to see grok in the meta i would like to see him as a top tier healer and uh, i think these are good changes to get him there but those are my first impressions i think he's good but not top tier yet but without further ado i don't want to extend this video 20 30 40 minutes let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay and you're going to hear a lot more thoughts from me while i play Yo, Grok's broken. I'm like, I'm for sure. Yo, Grok's OP. Yo, like straight up, Grok's OP. Like, I'm already feeling it. He's actually broken. Like, this is silly. Bro, I'm a unit right now. I'm here, Foxy, don't worry. I'm a fucking unit, dude. I'm a straight up unit, like kill me. Like what's up? Try to kill me, see what happens. You can't. You can't kill Grok, bro! Bro, this is broken! Look at this! Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, guess what? I got two totems. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is ridiculous. But I love it. I like I'm so happy seeing Grok meta. Zoning ult, zoning ult. How's Pache going? Amazing. I learned that Grok's OP. This movement speed card is actually really good. It's super value. Don't you love infinity totems? Yes. Yes, I do. Had her turned. Welcome, welcome. Bro, this is actually silly. I'm just gonna get morale boost. And nimble. Go all yellows. What are you bringing? Drink? I'm drinking a beer right now. Oh, yeah, this is the duel of the century. Oh, wait, I'm crippled? Oh, she crippled me. That's tragic. I would have lived, though. I would have lived if she didn't have cripple. Enemy killing spree. I can tell what kind of beer. Uh, Stella. Enemy. Stella Midnight Lager. What's up, Power Blue? How you doing?
I tried to get us in. Goodbye. Yo, when they made Grok to where he could fly, it was amazing. It was the best change I think they've ever made in Paladins. Not gonna lie with you. Hello. Goodbye. Yo, this Grok thinks like he puts his totems on us, and I think uh, he pops off. Oh, I got an invis. Not enough heal. Oh my god. The ulti. Saved. Oh, I, I like that all a lot. I'm not going to lie. We stayed alive so long. <laughs> Team, find your friendly neighborhood totem and you, you're fine. They're, they're literally everywhere. Like, you can't miss them. Team assistance. Need assistance. Push, push, push. <laughs> Guys in the party pick Willow next game. As you'll see a lot of Groks. Dude, I don't even think Willow's good against Grok. I don't think Willow's good against Grok anymore. She's actually not. Like, she... Like, in theory, she is because of the giant. But, like, you have seven totems. You know what I mean? The fact that you have seven totems... Like, at least seven. Is it doesn't counter it. Bro, I'm just a totem bot, though. That's for sure. When it changes dad bot to daddy bot, yo. Yeah. And it's ripped. Clear your loadout, please. Sure. Uh, Monolithic Totem 2. Outreach 5. Astro Traveler 2. Spirit's Grace 4. And Crackle 2. How can we place this totem? Yo. Yo. Totem range is insane. Holy shit. That's actually wild. Those are worth against Grok? Yes. 110%. You should be getting Bulldozer against Grok's. 120% you should be. Like, without a doubt in my mind. Like, every game you should buy a Bulldozer, no matter what. Oh god, we're dead. Woo! The Grok ulti push. I'm coming, team. Can I put- Oh my god, yo, look at that! Wait, how far can I place it? Right there? Bro, that's insane. Your totem's reach is insane. Literally anywhere one, where my team wants to be, I got them. Which is nuts. Oh, 
I'm vibing up here. That reach with Max. Yeah, it's Max. I think it's very worth the run, Max. Oh god, Maeve, no. <laughs> you hate to see it. Team, get your healing here. Bro, just look at what I'm doing. Like, like this is silly. Like, I'm literally just playing a mini game right now. Like, <laughs> bro, I'm just playing a mini game. Like, there you go. Have a heal. You get a heal. And you get a heal. Oh, he's. Oh, no. Bye, Foxy. Mini sugar turns? Yeah, there is. No, Vatu. Go away. It's my platform. <laughs> Bro, sorry, Chad. I can't. Like, I can't with the new Grok. <laughs> Gonna count how many times you press Q? Yeah, I should actually. When are you gonna play Vatu? At some point. <laughs> Playing Grok first. Gonna play Vatu at some point, friend. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Whoopsie daisy. Five, four, three, but yeah, uh, two, this is with max range. Outreach 75%. Theory of change. I'll, hold on, I'll read through that in a second, chat. I saw a couple comments there. Run, Musky, run! Thought it was enough to heal you. Fuck. Yeah, we'll be doing some rotations, Gruff. Probably every like two to three games. You get people in and out. Well, this room is our room right here. No letting go of it. Oh, I tried, Maeve. Bro, I feel like the issue with Grok now is weaving in um, damage with your healing. Because you have so many uh, totems be dropping all the time. Trying to weave in your damage is kind of tough. And, like, having damage on your support is important. Ooh, try to get you out, Foxy. Rip. 
No, come back. Ruckus, I want to kill you. I want free all charge. Gib, gib. Oh no, Foxy. Should I get your totem? No. Fuck. They're also low. Is Grokko P now? I don't know yet. Um, I don't know. I, I'm i not fully convinced in these OP. Because, like, I was actually, like, chat, when I don't say something, like, like when I totem talk for a while, sometimes, like, I'm in thought. Like, while we were defending, I was thinking, like, these healing numbers are very similar to Domba right clicks. Which is interesting. Are you playing without speed on totems? No, I'm playing with. Level 4. It's a Grok. So, like, I don't know if he's OP, OP, but I think he's definitely good and probably meta. But it's not like, I'm not 1,000% sure yet. I need more time with him. Five, four, Though, of course, three, I'm going to make a YouTube two, video saying he's OP. Of course, one. of course. What else would I do? OP, meta, Grok, insane. 700k healing game. Crazy. <laughs> Went wrong. Goes wrong. Remember when that was a meta on YouTube chat? Like, something, something, something goes wrong. Or, I, I feel bad for that ruckus. That poor guy just ran around him twice now. Hello, Batu. Tweak that load up for neutral. No, I actually tweaked this at the beginning. The 150k healing. Like, his healing isn't overwhelming. Like, it's not anything insane. Like, I don't know if he's OP, chat. I actually don't know if he's OP. I'm into. I'm undecided. I need way more games on him to decide.